It's the weekly show about pro AV with the hottest news in the AV industry. It's Rave TV. Give it up for Steph and Gary. Steph and Gary. Hey everyone, Steph Beckett here. Welcome to another special trade show edition of Rave TV. We are at Cedia Expo 2022. It is the third day of the show, and as you can see, uh, Gary Kay is not here. I will be kind of taking us through this journey by my own self today. So y'all are just gonna have to, I don't know, deal with it or something. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to talk a little bit more about show trends that I've been noticing. Gary and I have been bringing those up every day. We've been talking about like one of the big trends being that people in their houses, they want a ton of technology in there, but they don't wanna see it. So flush mount speakers has been big. Flush mount control switches has been really big. Um, just things that are really beautiful, like architectural. So of course this is residential and people want it to look, you know, not like an AV rack in their house. Um, but I've definitely been seeing a ton of really, really beautiful and artistic methods of doing AV. And I wanted to talk to somebody who's spent a little more time on the show floor at this show than I have been. So my next guest is going to be Miss Anne Marie Barr, one of my coworkers. Miss Anne Marie, Welcome to Rave TV. Thank you. This is my first time on Rave TV. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you. I know. So this is your first Cedia Expo. It is. Yeah, it is my first Cedia Expo. I have been to quite a few pro AV shows, but this is my first home market show, um, and I had a great time. I'm, I'm enjoying the show a lot. Their home is different. It is. Yeah. So I, I've learned that like the technology is not that different, but seeing these different applications has been really interesting. It's something that I can relate to. I feel like I can see myself having some of these products in my home. That's been really cool. And I yeah. feel like my under, I'm sort of new to AV, but my understanding of AV, I feel like has grown because I'm able to see applications that I can process and relate to more so yes. than pro, uh, you know, pro solutions. So that's been cool. Even though you're not necessarily like new, new, I would right. say like a home show is a great show to send someone to, to just kind of get their bearings and learn a lot about how AV works. Right. Because we already know how things work in our house. We use these things every day. Right. Yeah. So a lot of these things are made to make the things in our house work easier or better. So it's very easy to like wrap your mind around how this is supposed to be. Exactly. Tell me about some of the trends that you have noticed. I was talking about flush mount. You've seen a lot of flush mount stuff I too. I have, yeah. I've seen a ton of flush mounts. Everything is kind of intended to be hidden or disguised. And if you have to see it, it has to be beautiful. And that's something that you don't see in the pro market. Yep. You see like really gorgeous things. And so that's something that I find really appealing. Mm -hmm. um, I saw at the Hartman booth, there yes. was um, these JBL, JBL. Uh, Conceal series. Uh, flush speakers they were invisible and they were could be painted you basically you know mounted them into the wall and they yep. could be painted the same color as your wall and you could not see them we were in the booth and they had them built into the booth and there's music coming from somewhere and you can't figure out where it's coming from but you can feel the vibrations in the walls because they're completely hidden and they're made to be painted so they're unfinished so that you can paint them to match like exactly. virtually any color virtually yeah. any finish so yeah. that's very cool um one of the things that i have loved i mean you know there are, are of course speakers that are made to be seen but are also really beautiful bang and olafs their new sound bar is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, that's a pretty penny. So a, a lot of these products are made for, you know, high-end res. So these are people who are like, you know, I don't care what it costs. Just make it sound good and make it pretty. So that is another big thing. Because yeah, I'll be like, definitely. how much is this? And people are like, and I'm like, okay, so a lot. Yeah. You're telling me a lot. Like, <laughs> exactly. I think we asked CC how much their mm -hmm. display was, which CC is very cool as well. That has had the same effect as like Samsung's wall at a pro show. So, you know, where there's like always a crowd of people just like staring at it, getting lost into space. That is what CC is. Yes. Um, not necessarily a new product. They've been at a few shows, but this is a display that show that comes up out of the ground and then like accordions out. Um, and then you cannot see the lines of where it was folded. Like it's absolutely gorgeous, but every time it folds on the hour, like 11 people are there with their phones, like staring into space and it's it's been beautiful yeah, as well. Yeah, we got to see a demo of it and it was very cool. And I'm actually gonna show you guys that later. They opened it and closed it for me um, on the last leg of our show floor tour later. So that's gonna be really fun for you guys to see. So stick around for that. Anne Marie, any other favorite products that you've seen? The only other one that uh, comes to mind is the Barker Residential uh, Nord 
home theater projector. Ah, uh, yes. I've seen quite a few projectors on the show floor, but this one, it just stands above the rest. It looks amazing. It's hard to capture on camera if you check out our product videos, but in person, the picture is just incredible. It looks yeah. so good. Oh, very cool. Well, thank yeah, you so much, Anne Marie, thank for you joining for having me. me. Of thank course. You. I'm going to bring on our next guest now, and this is Richard Glikes from Ozion Unlimited. Welcome, Richard. Hi, Steph. How are you? I am good. How are good. you? Doing great. So, welcome. Tell me a little bit about how Cedia has been going for you guys. Well, we're displaying a tiny home, nine yes. feet wide by 30 feet long, and it's full of electronics and uh, appliances. Yes. And I'm actually showing it. that on the show floor tour oh, later. Right. We're ending at HTSN slash Nationwide slash uh right. booth later. So, yes, I wanted to ask, tell me a little bit, because there are kind of three pillars to this, HTSN, Nationwide, and Ozone. So can you kind of explain to me sure. the differences? So Nationwide Marketing Group is an appliance buying group with about 5,000 plus members. It's the largest right. appliance buying group uh, in the world. And then we have a separate silo is Azion Unlimited, which are 272 CI integrators throughout the US and Canada. Cool. And then we have HTSN, which is kind of a hybrid. It's uh, about 225 appliance dealers who sell electronics and CI dealers. Very well, cool. Well. Yeah. Awesome. So you are here focusing on education. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, we're very focused on education. As a matter of fact, we just partnered with Cedia and all of our dealers in both HTSN and Azion Unlimited will be have access to all Cedia training at no charge. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in a in an environment where we need to bring sales uh, new hires up to speed quickly. So. And in an environment where education is so important to these CIs. Well, it moves fast. It does. <laughs> it moves very fast. <laughs> just like the rest of the industry, yeah. just keep moving and moving. Yeah, every year it's a whole, you know, we this, you know, now we're into selling lighting fixtures. Yes. And uh, you know, 3 years ago, it looked like we start, you know, we started to sell shades. When I came into the business in 1972, uh, we sold a receiver, two speakers, and a turntable. It's a little different. And they put it in somebody's trunk, and they went home. You know? And oh, how the tables have turned since then. <laughs> the tables are, <laughs> and now turntables are back. The, yes, they yes, are, because they people are. are like, oh, that's pretty. Let me, like, get this little vintage look back in my house. You asked Anne Marie about something that was cool. There's a yes. turntable in the Future Ready Solutions booth that oh. works with Sonos wirelessly. So it just looks like it's, it's going a, to... It's a turntable, uh -huh. and it wirelessly plays through your Sonos system. That's amazing. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I will definitely have to go check yeah, that out. Victrola. Oh, I did see Victrola did see was it, huh? here. Yeah. Yes, okay. that's awesome. Yeah. So I will definitely be checking that out before and, and I leave. And did you tell people the price of the C-Seed Oh, I forgot. Um, you ready? I th yes. 330 thousand dollars so if you just have that laying around <laughs> and you know you'd like to spend a little money a little get yourself change. a c-seed yeah get yeah. a little pocket change no Out big deal outdoor tv outdoor three hundred and thirty thousand hey but the people who want that in their house they do not care about the price i love those people yeah i do too <laughs> <laughs> send them send them to Azion unlimited please yes sounds good well thank you so much oh, for pleasure. hopping on rave tv okay. with me and we are obviously thankful for you guys and for htsn for partnering with us we're delighted for we're rave delighted. tv this week thank okay. you so much bye-bye all right, and I think that is about all of the content that we have and the interviews that I'm going to show right now. It is the last day of the show, and so we have just a few things left to show you guys. And so I am going to cut it right here, and then I'm going to run onto the show floor and show you guys a little bit of the kitchen and bath section. And then I will, of course, show you guys how the sea seed works. And we are going to end at our partner, HTSN's booth, and we're going to do just a really quick walkthrough of the time house just because I wanted to show it to you guys one more time so with that that's rave TV and of course you can watch this on ravepubs.com YouTube Facebook LinkedIn and Twitter and you can watch our regular show live uh, weekdays at noon Eastern um, and then of course catch all of our CEDIA coverage at ravepubs.com forward slash CEDIA Expo 2022 this has been our show this has been CEDIA Expo and it has just been such a lovely show and um, we've had a great time so we will see you next time um, and then we're going to kick it to the show floor tour now so
Bye. Hey everyone, Steph Beckett here. We are on day three of Cedia Expo 2022, and I'm gonna hit you guys with a show floor tour. You have already seen most of the show via the other days of the show, me and Gary walking through it. And I'm actually in the kitchen and bath section right now. So if you look around, it is a little bit smaller. There are not as many people here today, but of course it is Saturday, the last day of the show. It's early, right after the show floor opened. Um, so, you know, people are still having conversations, but this is actually gonna be really good because I'm gonna be able to give you a little more of a detailed tour of the booths that I want to make sure to hit. Um, so I'm here at Samsung. We've already seen their other booth, but this is actually where a lot of their audio stuff is at the show this year. And it's actually a demo room. So as you can see, Samsung has all of their speakers paired with their different TVs, but they're actually really focusing on the audio in this room. That's kind of why it's enclosed. So here I am with Tim from Samsung, and he's gonna tell you a little bit about this. This is brand new, correct? Brand new for 2022, yes. This is our ultra slim sound bar, the S800B. It's only an inch and a half tall and an inch and a half in depth, so it makes a great pairing for any flush mounted TV. It is available in both black and white, so you can help blend it into your environment. And if you're familiar with our frame TV, we're actually gonna be releasing customizable covers for the soundbar to match the frame TV. So a great pairing for any environment, especially for those design focused shoppers. And it does also include the wireless subwoofer down here in the corner. That was gonna be my next question if it had a sub. <laughs> yes, so it is a very compact, newly designed subwoofer for 2022, uh, giving that nice sleek design appeal as well as the big booming bass. How big do you recommend for a room size to be for this to be able to um, hit all of the corners? Yeah, so it is actually still a Dolby Atmos enabled soundbar, so it can fill a rather large space. It's very, very powerful and very efficient. So really any sized room, but ideally you would want something enclosed, maybe no vaulted ceilings and a, a little bit of side walls to take care of the rest of the audio there. This is your flagship, correct? Yes, this is our flagship soundbar, the Q990B. This is a very immersive soundbar. Everything this year is coming out of our Samsung Audio Lab in California, so we're super happy to announce that we were able to take feedback and really bring some new technology to our audio this year. So this is an 11.1.4 channel soundbar system. So very, very immersive. It does include our wireless subwoofer, as well as two wireless rear speakers, which are mounted up on the walls behind us. So really, really gives you that super immersive theater type sound without having to have speakers all around the room. So it's a very incredible piece of equipment. And then this is your outdoor speaker bar, correct? Yes, this is our Terrace sound bar and our Terrace TV. This is an IP55 rated sound bar, so it works great in outdoor environments. It can withstand water, dust, humidity, no problem at all. It is a three channel sound bar, but it does have a built in woofer to really fill in that low end audio and give you the experience that you want. Can we actually play something on this one? Yes, we okay. certainly can. Let me grab one of my remotes. Okay, awesome. That sounds awesome. Thank you. Yes. Very cool. Well, thank you for showing us these. Thank you for coming in. I All right. Continuing our tour. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. So, of course, K Array is right over here. We're going to take a look at Kohler really quick. You know, they're known for their finishes, for, you know, their sinks, their faucets. They've even got a few toilets over here if you would like one that is smart and they look kind of like an egg so you know that's interesting um i like this one this one's really really pretty this is their anthem digital control line so you can control temperature flow and like six shower outlets from like that interface which is very cool um macintosh is over here it's like macintosh trinov um Sona, sonus and a few others. Um, they're actually doing a demo in this room right here. Uh, Macintosh are known for their very, very lovely kind of vintage looking amplifiers. Um, and they have a wall of those right there and they're powered by Kaleidoscape. 
on this demo. So we're gonna continue walking down here. Everyone has been really, really coming over here because Sea Seed is over here and we've talked about them at other shows before. So this is one of the coolest displays I have ever seen. It literally folds up like an accordion, but like it doesn't look like it does. We've got some furniture over here because of course it's kitchen and bath. So here is the CC display. So as you can see, it does have some ridges in the bottom and those kind of help it to fold in. Um, and it actually goes, it, when you install this outside, it goes in the ground and comes back out. It is absolutely crazy. So we're gonna see if we can turn this, here we go. But when it's completely out, you cannot see where those lines meet at all. It's so beautiful in person. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we'll watch it unfold too. Oh my gosh. Easily one of the coolest displays on the show floor and you cannot even see those lines anymore. Oh, it's so pretty. This has been a big, big crowd pleaser on the show floor. Every time it does this, it has drawn a crowd. It has people videoing it every single time. It's very similar to the effect that the wall has on people. Samsung's wall has on people at pro shows. Um, so here is MSE audio, I believe, and they have sound tube, which Gary told me this, I don't know if it's true, but I think that their company started because they built speakers inside of PVC pipes and they've since really expanded. So their company is very, very cool. They also have the rock acoustics, um, which kind of look like fake rock speakers. Um, and they actually sound really, really good as well. So for those people who want an outdoor speaker that just kind of blends into the rest of their aesthetic, so we're going to end over here at HTSN. I know Gary has filmed a separate kind of walkthrough tour of this, but HTSN is really cool. They are a group, um, which is kind of owned by a buying group. One of the only, if not the only buying group here at the show. Um, and basically they want to help you network with smart dealers. So they have a tiny home here on the show floor, which is really awesome. And I know Gary gave a longer tour of this, so I'm just gonna kinda go through this really quickly. One of my favorite features is the microwave over here because it has a smart screen. And this also is doubling as like the control panel for the Google Nest, which is kind of powering the smart home. The whole reason they're doing this is the idea of even if your home is small, that does not mean that you cannot put technology in it. You can do this for any size house you want. So yes, this is the control panel, but also the microwave, all smart appliances in through here. Um, we've got a TV, we've got some indoor speakers. These are by Klipsch. And the Klipsch also makes their outdoor speakers as well. So you can either play the same songs indoor and outdoor, or you can have different things playing, have something, a movie or something playing in here, have me different music out here that's actually able to be controlled as well, which I thought was really cool. Um, so yeah, I think that about concludes our little kitchen and bath tour. Um, this has pretty much been what the show floor has looked like. I'm really happy that I got to show you guys these highlights. So that has been our last special episode of Rave TV for this time. Of course, we are on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and of course you can always watch more at Rave Pubs as well. And you can see the rest of our Cedia coverage at ravepubs.com forward slash Cedia Expo 2022. Thank you so much. I'm Steph Beckett and I will see y'all later.
It's the weekly show about pro AV with the hottest news in the AV industry. It's Rave TV. Give it up for Stephen Gary. Stephen Gary.